Look, I will say something interesting. Maybe Turkey, F that six. He might not even buy the new model. Where should we give it to him? Should we give him Osgur or should we fly yes, him? Yes, let's do it. Shall we let Osgur fly? Osgur? He flew with IS radar. He flew with the IS radar. The radar we call IS radar is such a technical radar that this Osgur Block X. Other countries now have the airplane he said was useless. Turkey. Avionics engine life. The airplane lifespan with IS radar. Block XX brought it up to the level of the plane we're going to buy. So this airplane, what is the nose radar? Its feature, its importance. We had a video explaining the features of the IS radar. We will show it here in a moment. You will see it. Yes, now that's you see IS the radar. IS radar. IS radar can detect a normal airplane. It can make it to the fourth and third generation. I mean, he's leveling him up. Look what it does for you. Subcloud imaging, broadband radar spectrum monitoring, high power jamming, effective guidance broadband. It gives you all of these and adds range. Now someone, do you remember what happened? What was the objective? To see without being seen. It gives you the ability to see without being seen at work. These are Greeks. While they sell their planes for modern means, we're going to use the planes we have. We're taking them to the plane level where they'll cry. Isn't that the bigger thing? Exactly. Bayes radar is such a game breaker, and I am really tired of saying this in the world. People are tired of listening. Five countries in the world produce East radar. It is that difficult. Bayes radar is really difficult. Five countries produce it. Five countries, you are one of them. Now, Asselsan is producing this. Asselsan has entered another era. Only in 2023. Do you know what is the total sum of the agreements currently under signature? The whole $11 billion. Only Asselsan's until the end of 2023 accumulated. The contracts total $11 billion. It's unbelievable. We are talking about one of our companies. In Turkey, we have, exactly. There are 1,350 companies in the defense industry. Our biggest company, Aselsan. Hassan. But our other companies were now Thai, then Roketsan. They are coming very fast. They are really coming very fast. Look at Thai. This plane is no longer, it flew. I mean, this looks like an animation, but this plane flew. In fact, the modernization phase of these planes is over, and they started to be delivered to the Army. It's a great achievement. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. We have upgraded all our aircrafts to a higher level, including unmanned ones. It will. This will ensure that all systems, they will be able to fire ammunition produced by Turkey in an unlimited way. In other words, they will not use an ammunition that you have to order for someone else. They will be able to start using ammunition that is completely unique to you. Maybe it is also very important for the Turkish Air Force. Something interesting, Greeks. They gave up on something, I'll tell you that. At some point, we have with us a very serious weapon. They That's were at it. war. Do you remember? So let's order that too. In the war. Let's order this one too. Let's order this one, too. Let's get two ships from there, three airplanes from there. Now, do they now, realize they're in charge? They're in charge? They are now selling their weapon systems. You cannot turn this around. And this is not a war they can win. You buy a platform from abroad, if Turkey is doing it on its own, how much can you achieve? This is not a race you can enter. And it will suffocate you and sink you because you sell a product you have made and you make money from it, but you are buying from another country and you will keep on buying. You will continue to act completely on their policies. And it's not a war you can wage. Unless you have ammunition on it, there is no point in F on gold or a Rafale plane you buy. The more missiles you have, the more fighter aircraft you have. The F on gold itself may be a fighter plane, but this plane without missiles is only a fighter plane carrying one person or two people. It becomes a commercial vehicle.
Nothing else happens. There are values that you need to add. Now look at these platforms. This platform is already active. This platform is active. This platform is going into mass production. This platform is going into mass production at the end of 2024. This is also going into mass production. Now, can you cope with all that you have done with those that are either in mass production or about to be in mass production? Look at their orders. 40 of them. About 40. 40. About 40. About 40. If you say about 40, how many platforms have I counted? If there were five, I counted 200 platforms. I counted 200 platforms. Imagine if they equip IS radars with long-range missiles that you make. How long are you going to keep buying them? They've given it's up. It's not sustainable, both. It's not sustainable, and the cost must have been impossible to underwrite. So the tone has changed. So the seller has changed too. They don't say that anymore. Do you remember a time when the treaties were like this? Here the French will protect us. Yes, the French the will Americans protect us. The Americans will protect us. Now the discourse is on this. We've come to the point where we can solve problems without fighting so much. You know how they say it paves the way for diplomacy? It is about being a soft power. It is about these things. This one. This is about a Selsun. The other day, do you remember something we touched on? When the president of Ukraine came here, we had a... He went on to say, you know, the one made in Turkey. Corvettes are being built. Milgram-class Corvettes are being built. Those Corvettes, there are things done for Pakistan. What was built for Pakistan was asphalt. So the military factories were making it. It was being built in Tuzla shipyard. The other one is being done by a private company under the control of STM. Let's remind once again that there is a mix. So the ones made for Pakistan are made in military shipyards. The ones for Ukraine are being built in private shipyards under the control of STM. The location is not disclosed for security reasons. In order to prevent any attack or sabotage. Apart from that, Turkey is also exporting its ships abroad in a very rapid manner. It continues to ship supplies. For example, I don't know if I can follow the speeches of the Ukrainian ambassador this yes, week. Yes, I can. For example, there are two more. The Corvette is about to be ordered. They want two more to be produced. You know, maybe they want to make a system that they can take their own navy as a package after the war is over. Probably these will not sail in the middle of the war. But if you want to build a navy after the war is over, the main core of the navy will be formed by the thing. It will receive this technology given and developed by Turkey. They will buy some letter weapon systems on it abroad. They will not buy them from Turkey, but it doesn't matter. It is also important that these platforms are produced and sold in Turkey. I think it's very important and a great achievement. Very, very important.